progeny. I just got to this thing. Creep alert. You just called me a creep. Welcome. Yes! You just called me a creep. She's not a creep. She was watching me from the stairs. to this week's reading vlog. It's been a while since I've actually filmed one of these because I'm lazy and always say I'm going to do things and never do. But today is Monday, November 9th, 2020 and we're doing another reading vlog. So I thought I would update you guys on what I've been reading lately. I've actually read four books this month, which is shocking because usually at the beginning of the months I read nothing and then I just like binge read at the end of the month and then I end up getting like 10 to 15 books done. I have no idea how, but like I said, we're going to do the reading update right now. If you're new to this channel, you don't know, I always have a physical copy and an audiobook going at the same time. So my physical copy is The Companion by Katie Allender. And this one, I'm like 147 pages in and is actually really good so far. It's basically about this girl named Margot who became an orphan and she gets sent to Palmer House, which is like an orphanage. This family called the Suttons ends up bringing Margot to their house because the fathers went to law school together so Margot's dad like really helped him out we felt that he owed him in a sense so they decide that they're going to take Margot in from Palmer House but there's a catch because their oldest daughter Agatha is catatonic so they want Margot to be like her companion so that they can try to like bring her back to life I guess in a way but it's actually really good so far. The writing style is a little like childish. Like I wouldn't say that it's like middle grade, but it's definitely like the lower spectrum of young adult, at least in my opinion, is probably not. Maybe I've just been reading a lot of adult books lately. So like the writing style is different, obviously, but so far it's really good. Like I said, 147 pages in. So this is actually one that I have on NetGalley as an arc, but then they had finished copies. So they ended up sending me a finished copy instead. So I'm excited. I'm liking it so far. So that's my physical book. And then I always have the audiobook, like I said. So this one is White Ivy by Susie Yang. And it follows this girl named Ivy who grew up poor. She's like a Chinese American. She learned from her grandmother how to like cheat the system, I guess, and get what you want. And one way to do that is to con men. When she was younger, she had a crush on a boy named Gideon who's very wealthy and their family is very affluent. Many years later, she sees his sister on the streets and they like strike up a conversation and then she ends up mentioning that she knew Gideon a long time ago and the sister gives her his phone number and invites her to a party and they reconnect. But then there is a man from her past that comes back and she has to like figure out how to like deal with the man from the past and Gideon at the same time and it's like a coming of age story apparently but also like a thriller. I'm definitely intrigued with this book. I'm only 109 pages in. It is a little bit slow right now but we're kind of getting like the backstory of Ivy Lynn in her like children days, ch child days, when she's younger. We're just now getting to the part where she meets Gideon again and like they start a relationship. So I'm waiting for the man from the past to come back. I think I know who it's going to be based off of the beginning chapters. But this is another one that I'm really liking and Starla, I can't remember her channel name, but Starla really liked this book when she read it. So I'm intrigued. I'm liking it. I'm just going downstairs. I'm just going downstairs. But yeah, those are the plans for today. I'm probably going out with my mom later. I have to go to work at 2 25 ish usually i leave at 2 50 to go to work but they're sending me up to water down which is like half an hour from where i live like 25 minutes actually but they need somebody up there which really sucks because i love my kids at where i'm working i work at an after school before school program thing but they need me to go far far away today so it's kind of depressing i'm very excited to go back tomorrow i don't even know if this other place is like bad, I just have such a love for my school and my kids. So it's gonna suck, but it's only three hours. So we're gonna push through and I'm getting paid an extra half an hour for travel time. So I'll take it, but I wanna go back to my kids even though I haven't even left them yet. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> I, uh, I bought $101 worth and mom spent $29, so 
I think she wins. Uh, but I bought five books, so that's fun. Wanna say hi to dad eating? <laughs> I was depressed. So he can eat? Shut <laughs> up! He, wait, he can eat? And I can't talk about my his credit is a, card woes? His is a like bodily function that needs to happen. You complaining is not a bodily function that needs to happen. So, whatever. Okay, so I was depressed um, because they told me that I have to go back to the school that I was at again tomorrow. Which is not tomorrow. a bad place. No, they're very nice there, but it's just really far away. So I was like, oh, I'll just stop off at the Value Village on the way home to see what's, you know, in their book section. And um, I got 10 more books. So I bought 15 books today because I have no self-control. And then I got books in the mail. So mom's gonna open those. Mom. Oh! That's, is this the book that you- That's number four. And is Will this... got me the first three. So is this, wow, this is one thick book. That's book four. It's Tor books. And no, um, they emailed me and was like, you want to read it? And I was like, I haven't even read the first three. And they're like, that's okay. We'll send it to you anyways. And I was like, mm -hmm, okay. That's so a then, thick book. Yeah, that's why Will got me the first three for my birthday. Because well, that's I the fourth said, book. Yeah, because I said they asked me to read the fourth book. And I don't even have the first three. So he bought wow. all three of them. Because he's a good little boyfriend. Too early to be alive, but at least the sky looks cool. It's now Tuesday. I'm currently in line to get Starbucks because I have to go down to Waterdown again today. So I figured I'd treat myself because I miss my kids and I hate this drive. It's so long. It's like half an hour. I'm complaining for nothing. It's not that big of a deal. But I figured I'd treat myself and the Value Village is like right over there, which is where I went yesterday after work because I was sad that I had to go back tomorrow and there was so many freaking books there. I swear somebody got rid of like their entire collection of hardback like young adult books and there's so many that I wanted to read. I bought 15 books yesterday so I, you know, probably shouldn't buy more books today but I really want to. But Will's coming over today, so I have a reason why I cannot go because if I go, I will spend like three hours there and Will's coming to my house at 9.30. It's 9.08 right now and it takes half an hour to get home, but I need Starbucks. So that's my reason why I'm not going, but I really wanna go. But because Will is coming over today, no reading is probably going to be done this afternoon because I have to leave earlier from my house than usual. I think he'll probably only stay until like 12.31. So like I could technically read for a little bit, so I might. I did get a little bit farther on White Ivy. I'm now 152 pages in or something like that, and things just got good because the man from the past is finally back in her life now. So he's like very unexpectedly in an area that she never thought he would be. And I'm really enjoying it. I think it's gonna be really good, so I'm excited. Hey, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, what can I get for you? Can I have a venti iced coffee, please? Venti iced coffee? Do you yeah. want milk and sweetener in there? Yes, please. Want ready to hand you? No, that's it. Three ninety four. dollars Thank on. you. I'm so excited. I'm such a child. Like, I get excited about the stupidest things. Hi. I had to be able to just pay for your order. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Take care. Have a good day. That was so nice. Oh. Okay. Wow, he just made my day like so much better and I'm so happy now. Oh nice. <sighs> Fucking love coffee. Hi. I'm in a parking lot. I need to look out for people. <laughs> Will's cranky. I'm not cranky. I'm making him do errands with me. <laughs> no, you're making me do errands for you. No, I'm just making you Who be my- Who is driving, lady? I, let me finish. I'm making you be my chauffeur. But he got a present out of it, so. Yes. And he likes the present, so it's okay. He got, he got this thing. And it like has a touch screen thing so that he can stop slamming his phone into the touch screen. It doesn't tap. When so. he like goes to pay for things. And then it has the bottle opener. Because he's bump. an alcoholic. And then it has. I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> and then it has like a door These opener. People are gonna think that I'm an awful person. You are an alcoholic. Is that the house? Yes, that's it. Oh, they moved it. No, they didn't. Yeah, there used to be one around the corner. No, that's the beer store. 
Whatever. And then Same it has difference. the door opener because he uses his lanyard to open the doors because of COVID. So now he has a three-in-one tool and he has to love me for it. I do love you. Too. And therefore he's my chauffeur. You yeah. bribed me. You're like, you want one of your Christmas presents? Yeah, I, I got him like 13 presents because I have a problem and never stop shopping. Well, she's just trying to make up for all the money I spent on her. That's true. We're going to go to the LCBO so I can get a present for his brother and then the mall so I can get a present for his mom and then the eye doctor to get my contacts. Okay, mom, Devo, if you're watching They this, don't watch my videos. You don't know? I know 100%, but they do not. How? Because they don't care. Devo doesn't care that much, and then your mom doesn't have time to do that. Oh. So. Okay, also, please answer this. Nose flap on the nose, or does this go in the mouth? Nose flap on the nose? Okay, but the, it, if it's a nose flap, where does it go? It fits this way. <laughs> And then it doesn't block my breathing and like whatever you want because every you, every time I breathe in it goes And then it blocks my nose. So it's like I'm suffocating myself Which is why I was out of breath in the store the other day or you're just out of shape. I am NOT out of shape Thanks, I might be in a particular shape. I wasn't in before Circle? <laughs> Yes, okay, bye it's now Wednesday and I have been off work for about two hours now. It's like 11 in the morning. I'm finally back at my old school, which is really exciting because it's a five minute drive rather than the half an hour it took to get there. So yesterday I commuted for two hours, which really sucked, but I did get to listen to my audiobook for White Ivy a lot, so that was good. So I finished White Ivy. I gave it a four out of five stars. I actually really liked it but it wasn't like amazing. It was very predictable. I was able to call like what was gonna happen. So that always brings my enjoyment down because I am not a fan of being able to call the entire story, but it was still like a really fun read. I really liked Ivy because she was like a very unlikable character. I personally love unlikable narrators. They're like my favorite, one of my favorite tropes ever. But yeah, so I finished this four out of five stars, like I said, and then I'm going to start Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer very soon, like once I stop filming this. I honestly have no idea what it's about other than it's like a young adult romance. I think it's young adult, but it's like her first stab at like the romance contemporary genre. Marissa Meyer is one of like my favorite authors ever. I own like every single one of her books. And then Rainco's Books actually sent me like an e-arc of it, but then my library has the audiobook version of it. So I was like, whoo, we gonna listen to the audiobook and I'm really excited. Because like I said, Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors. So now like almost three, I'm at work right now waiting to go in because I'm a little bit early. So I don't want to go in yet. But I figured I would update you guys on the reading that I got done because from 11 to 2.50 I was reading Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer and it's a big disappointment. I got to like page 167 and I hate the main character Prudence. She is so bitchy and just full of herself and just I can't deal with her. Like she just pisses me off so much. Basically the whole story surrounds Prudence and this boy named Quint who's her lab partner for science class and she like will not let him do anything She thinks that he like sucks at being a lab partner and is always late for class and like is unreliable and irresponsible blah 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 But it turns out like he's actually be like a really good lab partner if she'd let him, you know actually do some work besides the point i'm not a fan i'm not liking it i hate it and i'm really disappointed because marissa meyer like i said is one of my favorite authors but it's just not not for me and it's really surprising because usually haters to lovers enemies to lovers is like my favorite trope ever but this one is not sitting right with me but anyways i have to go to work now i'm probably going to get home and read more instant karma probably finish it i'm on part six of 13 and each part is like an hour long so I get home at 6 I'll probably at least get to like part 11 or 12 if not 13 so I will update you guys probably tomorrow because I'm not gonna want to update I'm sorry but I'm in a bad mood so yeah I'm gonna go to work now and hopefully that'll put me in a better mood we'll see though okay so it's actually Friday now I didn't film anything yesterday because I just didn't feel like it will came over we watched Grease and then I went to work and then after work I just didn't want to film so I feel like I don't need to push myself to do things I don't want to do so I didn't but I did read a lot I finished Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer and I'm giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars which I am so bummed about because like I said I really wanted to like it but I just could not 
with the main character. She just bothered me a lot. And then the love interest, like he was okay, but he wasn't anything like super special. So I just didn't really care about him. And then I found the story very predictable, which like contemporary books usually are. So I can't really fault that for the book, but yeah, not the biggest fan. So I gave it a 2.5. Five. But then I started another book right after I finished Instant Karma, which is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. And like, I think that it's a good book, but it's not like blow me out of the water. Like it's a fun time, but nothing super special. But it basically follows this girl named Katerina whose father is like this really famous geneticist and there's a virus going around where it like blows you up and I'm not really sure why it blows you up it's something about your DNA and when you're infected stage three means that you blow up. Auckland is the geneticist he's trying to create a vaccine for this virus and then one day he gets taken away. They hide Katerina in like a closet and so that she's not discovered because if she's discovered then like the vaccine is in danger. So they take him away and then she is stuck alone for two years until a soldier named Cole comes to her door and tells her that her father is dead and left her a message. The message basically says like solve the problem in the vaccine so that you can save the world and so she needs to work with this very dangerous soldier in order to save the world from the virus and unlock the vaccine and like i said so far like it's enjoyable but nothing super special i am 253 pages in so pretty much halfway i'm i think halfway i'm probably gonna finish this today and then start on the second book in the series because i own it it's this cruel design it's over there I'll go get it just so that I can show you guys. See? So I'm gonna finish this, read this, hopefully finish the whole thing. We'll see. But I just got off work. It's 9.15. I have to go do groceries with my mom and that's pretty much all the plans for today. I might film some videos because I don't have any content. So let me know down below what you guys want to see from me. That would be helpful. And um, I'll update you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're locked out of the house because dad had Order to go get beer. We did not plan that well, did we? No, we went grocery shopping and didn't bring the house keys because dad's supposed to be at home working. But he went to get beer instead <laughs> because priorities. I didn't know you were still vlogging. I'm hungry. What did you film today? The end of the year book tag. You know that. I was just creating content for you. <laughs> Creative car content. Thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> Daddy! Yay! Say hello, Daddy! Hi, Daddy! <laughs> he called me a loser. <laughs> so, it's now... 8 o'clock on Friday night and I just finished this mortal coil. I'm giving it 4 out of 5 stars. It was way better than I thought it was going to be and took a turn that I literally did not see coming at all. So it's very enjoyable. And now I'm going to start the next book in the series which is this cruel design but that's pretty much what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. So I'm going to end the vlog now so that I can edit it tomorrow and have it up either Monday or Wednesday. I don't really know what I'm planning, but I'm going to Will's for the weekend, which means I'm not going to edit it until probably Monday. But thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!